Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Tackling topspin this week, and we're looking at a mid-court forehand today that I'm gonna come in and attack, and I'm gonna first do one that hopefully you guys can get a good view of this. I want you to kind of take a really close look at contact and tell me if you think there's something missing on this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Came up, nice short court ball, loaded up pretty well, hit it hard, hit it totally flat. And that's a really common thing for, for a lot of players, beginners, intermediates, really advanced players, to come up and be thinking about power. And how do we get power? We like to hit the ball flat. And so a lot of times that flat forehand ends up sailing. And so the adjustment that a lot of club level players make is to hit it the same way, but just to hit down on it more, and now that exact same ball is going in the net. So what I want you guys to start to work on is, is adding some topspin to that forehand. Really all we're trying to do, it's not a ball that's you know, rotating a lot, but the fact that if I come into the short ball forehand and let my strings really kind of just get above the ball a little bit, it's gonna create enough topspin that I'm not worried it's gonna go long, and yet I'll still feel a really good amount of power because I haven't really rolled over the ball too much. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at these. We're gonna slow-mo one or two of these, you guys. Really key into this contact. Same aggressive stroke, but at contact now, you know, I'm hitting that ball you know, where my strings are sitting above the ball just ever so slightly. And now I've hit two really big forehands, just as big as I hit the flat one, and they're both way inside the baseline, okay? So make that adjustment. Make the adjustment where, you know, you start adding just a little bit of topspin to that short forehand instead of just trying to drop the height of it, because nothing's more frustrating on a short ball than air mailing it on the first one and then hitting the bottom of the net on the second one. The first swing's much closer to the real deal, and if we can just ever so slightly get on top of the ball, you guys are gonna see that shot start to go in a lot, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.